Well, the summertime means grilling, but sometimes it's not easy to come up with a side dish to go along with that main meal. No, and this morning we'll go into the kitchen with Chef Becky with a delicious mm. garlic bed, garlic bread <laughs> recipe that you can do in the oven or also on the grill. In the kitchen, brought to you by Old Fields Appliance and Home Theater. We are in the kitchen once again with Chef Becky, and the great thing about barbecuing, of course, is you got all these great smells of meats, but a lot of times people don't know what to bring or what to make on the grill. You got a recipe that you can not only make on the grill, but you can use this all year round. That's right. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my world famous garlic bread. It's a recipe my whole family loves, and I make it year round. It's a perfect side dish for lasagna, barbecues, pasta dishes, anything you want. Okay, so now we're at the stove. We're getting ready to make our garlic butter. What do we need to do? We have a large skillet here, and I'm going to put in two sticks of butter. So for this recipe, we're going to use low heat the entire time. You can see our butter is beginning to melt. Now I'm adding the fresh minced garlic. So now that our butter is all melted, we'll set the timer for 30 minutes, and we'll stir it every five minutes. And the key to this recipe is to use low heat so the butter won't burn. So you just need to be patient and let it sit and do its thing. So our garlic butter has been cooking for half an hour. You can see the butter is a nice golden color. It smells amazing. Now it's time to add the parsley. So while our garlic butter is cooking, it's a perfect time to slice the bread. So we are getting the bread sliced here. And there's a couple different ways you can do it depending on how hearty of a slice that you want. That's right. We're going to start with some half inch slices. I'm going to lay these out in a single layer on a cookie sheet. I'll also show you another way to cut it that's easier on the grill. Yeah, this might be a little easier to handle. So while Alan is slicing the rest of the bread, I'm going to go ahead and brush the slices with the garlic butter. So we've got all the bread buttered. What's our next step? The last step is to sprinkle a little kosher salt all over it. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble the loaf for baking in the oven. I'm going to line the slices up and have a piece of foil ready to go. And I will bake these in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. I'm not going to fold it tightly, it needs to be just loose. And this would also be exactly where I would stop to freeze the bread. So it's handy to have in the freezer. Oh, grateful lasagna like you said. That's right. This would keep in the freezer for about two months. Oh wow, okay. Now for a real treat, I recommend barbecuing the bread. Oh, I think this is gonna be great. So you said we've got this on a medium heat, right? Yes, that's right. And bread burns very easily. So you have to stand out here with the bread and don't leave it unattended. I'm gonna close the lid for just about a minute. Okay, so this is going to be pretty quick then. Yes, very quick. Ooh, that looks Ooh. great. So you can see there's some nice grill marks on the bread, and it's time to flip it over. I'm going to close the lid and give it just one more minute. Can we bake that one? <laughs> and there you have it. Today we made the world's best garlic bread, and the recipe you can find on my Chef Becky Facebook page. And the great thing is it cooks up fast, so it'll probably be the last thing you want to do when you're grilling out your meal. That's right. Well, that's going to do it for another edition of In the Kitchen. And oh. the last time she was on the show, we did a tri-tip recipe. Yeah. We actually took the slices of tri-tip and then put it on the garlic bread and ate that kind of as a sandwich. Oh, that sounds amazing. It was fabulous. Just, Sorry. Now I'm like... <laughs>